Hello and welcome to Textile Express. We're here in the dressmaking room today to show you a very exciting new parcel of fabrics. Um, they are all vintage fabrics, they're authentic, so they're from sort of 50s, 60s, 70s. All dress weight. Um, I'll show you some of the range and then we can go through some of the patterns that would be great to make from these. So uh, first of all, we've got this really fun design. Uh, this is called Kathleen. It's available in three different colours. So you'll see, you know, as I move the fabric, they are slightly stiffer than you might be used to, but it comes with the territory. They're older textiles. Um, this is the brighter colour. Now, the fact that they're a little bit stiffer does mean um, that they're going to work perfectly for a more structured garment or something that you want a bit more shape with or perhaps a fuller skirt. Um, so there's lots of colourful, fun prints um, and then we've also got some really nice monochrome prints like these ones behind me, <clears throat> some with the peachy tones, uh, the darker backgrounds and then again really really fun vibrant ones. So definitely have a look online at the full range, there's um, new designs being added almost every day until we get the full collection up there. So if at the moment there's not something on there that really catches your eye, keep looking because honestly there's about 100 designs to go online. Um, so like I said, they're all 100% cotton. They are varying widths, so make sure you check the listings. Um, some of them are up to 150 wide, but some of them are really, really narrow because they have been produced on much older looms than we're used to using nowadays. Um, so check that out and don't forget that you can order free samples online if you are interested in any of the fabrics. Um, this one here is one of my favourites. It has actually got a slightly softer feel than some of them, which again, another great reason to order a free sample, have a feel of the weight, have a feel of how it handles. Um, but this, I think, is gorgeous. And the colours in it, you know, you just don't get the colours the same in modern printing as you do in this vintage printing. So something like this, um, I was thinking for, which I'm sure lots of you will have made, something like a Stevie. Um, so this, if you're not familiar with the patterns, it's a Tilly in the Buttons pattern and it is a t-shirt option or a dress option um, and there are lots and lots of hacks online how this can be altered and changed so if you wanted it longer uh, different sleeve options you know have a google there's loads of different options so you can suit it to your style this is a really easy sew project easy wear project perfect but when it gets a bit warmer which hopefully it will it's got to get some sunshine at some point haven't we it looks really grey and miserable in to, uh, today in Oz Street I'll be honest um, so yeah a Stevie that's what I'm thinking with this designs um, again it's really simple to sew there's no fastenings the back is literally just a, a little tie um, if you're not into dresses there is the t-shirt option uh, which then would work great with, you know, like dungarees. Some, you know, nice denim dungarees with a pop of colour underneath would be really, really good fun. Um, if you're not that into pattern, or perhaps you like pattern, but it's not something that you normally include in your wardrobe, um, then another great pattern that you could try would be, again, Atelier in the Buttons, this time the Jamie. Uh, so this is pyjama bottoms, again, really easy so if you haven't had a go at sewing a pattern before don't be scared try this one out honestly it's really really great um so there is the full length pajama bottoms and there is also a short option um and yeah if you're not feeling very bold about pattern why not have some funky pajamas to go to bed in you could even combine the two you could do a t-shirt top with the pajama bottoms um, and have a really cool set. There's lots and lots of awesome nightwear, loungewear sets at the moment in really funky prints. And I think designs like this would be great for that. Um, I'll just show you a couple more patterns. So this one is this really cool sort of retro squares design. It's called Frank. You might think all the names are a little bit strange, but, but we actually look for the most popular names of the era and then pick some fun ones from there. So that's where the, the inspiration has come from for the names for the fabric. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. And if you don't fancy it for dressmaking, um, 
then perfect for interiors too. I mean, it would make lovely cushions. There's lots of retro styling in the furniture at the moment. Um, so why not make a few scatter cushions for it? If you need, we've got a great tutorial on how to make the scatter cushions. Um, another fun way to inject a little bit of retro print into your interiors would be to use one of our lampshade kits. Uh, these kits are great. They, um, you have everything you need in this box apart from the fabric and there is no sewing required. So if you are big into your interior design or you love a DIY project but you are not a sewer, these are a great fun project. Uh, you know, half an hour I would say you will have this whipped up. Probably less to be honest. Once you've made a few, um, you'll want to make more. I think Lizzie <laughs> has made about 60 now quite a lot for the shop but also for friends and family and she's in high demand for her lampshade making. Um, so these come single sided or you've also got a double sided option. I think with the sort of prints that we're looking at they're quite small scale um, so a smaller lampshade kit would probably be a better option. Something for um, a bedside or you know a side table in the sitting room something like that. Um, we do also have double sided lampshade kits so you could go for a bit of a clash of patterns so do one pattern on the outside and another pattern on the inside or if that didn't appeal then you could obviously do the pattern outside and then say on a design like this you could pick out the red and just do a plain red interior to the lampshade kit and they look really cool and really attractive um, and when they're lit they throw off lots of different colours um, so that's a really fun addition that you could use. Um, we've had a few people saying about using them you know, for bedding, for throws, that sort of thing. I mean, how amazing would a patchwork quilt be? Anyway, my mind's running away from me and uh, I'm talking an awful lot, so I should probably slow down a bit for you all. Um, this was another design that I have pulled out. So it's a really sweet blue and green design um, and it's got a lovely, little dinky sort of floral design with the spot over the top and this one is called the tammy floral um so yeah fantastic it's really really lovely cotton um i would recommend if you're using any of these because they are authentic vintage fabrics please 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 make sure you pre-wash them um we would always recommend pre-washing your fabrics before using them whether it's for dressmaking or soft furnishings um, but definitely on these give them a pre-wash um, lots of the fabric nowadays are produced to prevent any shrinkage on these vintage textiles that probably won't be the case so you may get a bit of shrinkage so top tip make sure you pre-wash um, just in case you can't see the designs behind me so clearly I'll pull a couple down in case they're of any interest at all. Um, so another really, really sweet floral design. Uh, so it's on this dark black background with this quite funky stylized flower, the pops of color. So perfect for anyone that really likes their pinks or there's even some orange tones in there. And that one is called the Veronica Blossom. Like I said, there's some really fun names. Um, so, and really fun designs. So have a hunt through and uh, if you want any samples, they're available on the website. If you're not into florals, there are some more simpler designs and also some geometric designs. So this one is like a stylized spot. It's got a bit of a feel, reminds me a little bit of the of a galaxy really. Um, could probably, you know, if you wanted to, this could be a bit more dressy, whereas some of the others are perhaps a bit more daytime and a you know more fun print to wear during the day but this could make a stunning evening dress with the darker background um doesn't look like that one's actually gone online yet so i haven't got a name for that one but i'm sure it'll be online very soon in the next couple of days um if you want to view the full collection online just type in vintage collection in our search box on the website and it will bring up all the designs that are currently available for you um, steering away from colour, there are quite a few monochrome prints, um, so I will just pull out a couple of those for you now. This one has got the sort of 
retro shapes on it with this black kind of check going through it. Um, really, really funky. This would be fantastic, maybe not just for women's wear, but also for men. It would make a great shirt. Um, or if you're a lady looking for a blouse, this isn't a me made item, but a blouse similar to this style um, has got quite a retro feel about it. And if you're a more confident sewer and you're you know, happy to do a button down top, then why not try a fun blouse styling? Um, I will have a look for a pattern similar to this for you all. Um, and I'll try and get that popped in the comments below if I find something that I think would be suitable. Um, but yeah, fantastic for men's shirts or women's, but just, you know, I can imagine my brother actually wearing a shirt like this. Um, so the larger design is called Ricky Abstract. And this smaller one that I have in front, which has got um, all the triangles on it, that one is called Retinal Triangle, great name. If you like the collection, I won't go through the full range for you now, but have a look on our website, like I said before, just search the vintage collection on textilexpressfabrics.co.uk and that will bring up the full range for you to have a browse through. We offer free samples, um, so pick your favourites, order some samples and then let us know what you make in them. We always love to see what you've been making, whether it's soft furnishings, curtains, blinds, dressmaking. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, then you can tag us in pictures and let us see what you've been making. Thank you all very much for tuning in to have a look at the vintage collection with me and we'll see you soon.